could look around with my focus. Try to match the Vista Point image. Okay, let's try this again. That building looks like it's in front of some sheer cliffs. This doesn't look right. Better try another spot. Looks like the building in the image might have been near a river. Maybe there used to be a bridge nearby? Sure are resourceful. Like but a camp like this out here. the Vista Point image. Gotta stay in the right area and try again. Okay, let's try this again. That building looks like it's in front of some sheer cliffs.
Looks like the building in the image might have been near a river. Maybe there used to be a bridge nearby? Find another spot. of a bridge. Maybe it's the same one from the image. I could try to line it up around here. I think I'm getting close. Got it! Huh. Completing the image unlocked a data file. It looks like these Vista points were made by... Huh. Ethereum Technologies. That was Elizabeth's company. I wonder if I can find more of them out in the wild.
Packers room. Maybe I should charge shards to watch this. I was hoping you'd be back. Got something new just for you, if you're interested. That's all for now. Let me know when you want to try some more training. I was hoping you'd be back. Got something new just for you, if you're interested. but easily blocked. So learn to combine them with other attacks. The attacks break weapon blocks and do more damage, but they're slow. So your opponents might counterattack. Power attacks smash weapon blocks to really hammer an enemy with damage. But they're slow and leave you vulnerable, so pick your moment.
seems to energize after attack. Think landing heavy attack in combination with energy. Here like that, we can then bristle back too. Delving and bursting. Use that energy. Try attacking your enemy. See if you can energize them. And their armor's off. Shoot the energy. See if you can trigger a blast and cause damage. Hey, I thought you were by now. of Meridian wins! Attacks are child's play. A real fighter combines them. Practice this combination as a starter. Break their weapon block, then follow through to attack with this combination. your attack combinations. Make yourself less predictable. Fine day for poor singing, I say. I don't know if it's clean dumb. Come on. If your opponent keeps blocking, then use a heavy attack or a power attack to break through. Either that or hit them from behind. I didn't do it. Try again. Ignoring me again. Come on. If you're blocking, 
attacking, then use a heavy attack or a power attack to break through. Either that or hit them from behind. I am the best man to ever stick exactly. Like this out here. Didn't do it. Try again. That's all for now. Let me know when you want to try some more training. What's new, Aloy Machine Hunter? How are the refugees doing? They keep to themselves mostly, but they have food and shelter. Some even found work around town. Good thinking, giving them that Stormbird heart. I'm glad it helped. I hope they can get back on their feet. I'll keep checking up on them. Then they'll be just fine. So the Bristlebacks in the Daunt. <laughs> You're a pig. Blasted things, those bristlebacks. They just showed up one day, rampaging around the valley like they exploded out of a forge. <sighs> Lost some good people. But bless the bellows, you cleared them out and got this place working again. That put a dent in Olvin's plans. Now, if only there was some way to smash them all together and run them out of town. But how could Bristlebacks and the Daunt help Olvind? Two words. Concession decree. Since no one knows where the Bristlebacks came from, Olvind has taken to blaming the Karja for him. He's hoping to dig up enough old resentments to get a strike going until the concession's signed. This is just his latest attempt. He's been trying to rile up the workers since the day he rolled into town. About that. The Bristlebacks came out of Olvind's old mine. Fading Forge? Are you sure? Yeah. All his blasting caused a sinkhole in the tunnels. Bristlebacks came barreling through from the west. Well, I'll bet the Magistrate would be mighty interested to know about that. Has Talland been giving the refugees any trouble? Nah, he's still nursing his pride over at his shop. I've seen Karja fuss pots made of tougher stuff than that brittle bolt. Anyway, he knows if he messes with the Shadow Karja, he messes with me. Well, I, uh, I have to be going. Thanks for the drink, Petra. I'm glad I stopped by. Anytime, Flame Hair. Hey, Ray. Fancy a game of strike? So, you've returned from the west. Any luck? The Bristlebacks were being penned by Tanakh rebels on the other side of the mountains. Olvin's explosives opened up a sinkhole, dropping them into the tunnels. Which they followed to the mine and out into the Daunt. Right. 
Aside from the rebels, if anyone is to blame for the bristlebacks, it's Ulfant. Radiant beams of the sun! And all this time, he was pointing the finger at us. <clears throat> Bring Ulvent here. Petra, too. Summoned like a blasted ale winch. You best be meaning to put pen to parch. What? Why is she here? I live here too, lug nut. <laughs> so what's this about? <clears throat> Thanks to the savior, the sun has shown the truth on the bristleback incursion. Tanakh rebels were keeping pens of machines on the other side of the mountains. A sinkhole swallowed them, releasing them into the underground tunnels that led east and out into the daunt. So it was an accident. But let us not forget that it was the Karja... I'm not done. The sinkhole only formed due to your unauthorized blasting in the southern mine, Ulvent. You are responsible for the machine rampage, the workers we lost, the destruction the bristlebacks caused, all of it. My dear magistrate, has your precious son baked your senses? I would never give such an order without first consulting you. <laughs> uh, evidence says otherwise. Aloy found the shipping manifest in the mine. You skirted the laws of the Sundom Ulvent. All for a few extra shards. Greedy as ever. And you almost drowned your other miners and sent that oversized tool over there to intimidate a bunch of refugees. Uh, I. I demand an official investigation. I won't be the victim of some Karja scheme. Certainly. We'll conduct a thorough inquest into everything. The bristlebacks, the mine, the refugees. Every business deal you ever put your name to. Well, that... That's not necessary, is it? What if I just return to the claim? Oh, well, that would save the crown the cost. Of course. I'll be on my way as soon as I wrap up some previous commitments, tie up some loose ends. After all, the welfare of Chainscrape's people in a transition like nope, this... No, you're leaving right now. Chainscrape will be just fine. You think she can run this scorched out forge dump? Ha! Knock yourself out. Get out! Oh, don't want you, no. don't need you! Down with all that! <laughs> 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 Mud looks good on you, Alvind. <sighs> As the sun burns away, Shadow. Mm. Thank you for that, Aloy. Well, you had it coming. Here, please accept this token of gratitude. You've done the Sundom and my sanity a great service. And I believe we have some matters to discuss. Guess we do. Not the most pleasant boots to fill, but I'll wear them. All thanks to you, Flame Hair. <sighs> okay. Chain Scrape will be better off with Petra in charge.
Trips him up. Oh, yeah. The golden dog for good. I never thought I'd see the day. About turn to Your compassion warms my forge. Huntress, you're back. I don't want to read that contract before going on the hunt. Everything they had to slow down the Pharaoh swarm. To buy Zero Dawn time. See what we can find around here. To knock the rebels. They're trying to corner those Osirim. Damn it! It isn't the hero of the day. 
Sure, I'm glad you came by when you did. Are you all Delvers? We've been working no man's land for a while. I was hoping to get back to Baron Light by the time they opened the gates, you know? After that embassy of theirs. Seeing as how we almost got minced to pieces just now, I'm guessing things didn't go so well. You could say that. It's not like No Man's Land was safe to begin with. But I didn't think I'd have to worry about the Sanak, the neutral territory. And now, they're riding machines! If you were headed back to Baron Light, why did you stop here? We ran across some ruins nearby. Thought we'd take a gander, find some good salvage. But the place is full of weird red crystals. Can't get through the stuff. So we ended up making camp here. First thing tomorrow, though, we head straight to Baron Light. Should probably send a message to our crew down at Jagged Deep about all this, too. Jagged Deep? It's a dig site by this big lake down south. Old world scrap everywhere. Can't miss it. <laughs> and that's my cue. Here. Thanks for helping us out. Maybe I'll get into more trouble and see you around. Well, let's hope not. An old world ruin. I wonder what's inside. Looks like this door is locked. Maybe there's another way in. Crystals growing on the wall. I don't think there's anything I can do about them. Well, without a way to get through those red crystals, there's not much I can do. Try to move on for now. This crate might be useful.
exploring cauldrons might teach me how to override these things. 